let's continue right along and talk about the Maytech digital airspeed sensor. The 4525. And if we go over to the Maytech site and look under sensors, we find that right here. There is not a lot of information on this item. Uh, it doesn't really tell much about it up here. I mean, the 4525 is just a common chip for airspeed. And those of us familiar can see that this is the I squared C bus. CL and DA are going to be used. That's it. <laughs> they don't tell you much more here. Of course, resellers doesn't tell you anything. And the specs and wiring does give you some hints. <laughs> it does tell you it's a I squared C output on SCL and SDA right here. And it does give you another hint of I squared C right here mm, does tell you the voltage supply voltage range 4.5 to 4 to 5.5 volts DC probably gives you a current in there yeah 5 milliamps and down here it tells you to wire the 5 volts to Five volts, wow. Wire the SCL to flight cloak controller I squared C SCL. Wire SDA to flight controller I squared C bus SDA. And ground to flight controller ground. Uh, amazing. The real hints for this you have seen back when I was doing the flight controllers as in the, uh, what was it, the 743 wing, I think you saw down in the uh, documentation for it, let's see if they did CAN peripherals. Is this where we saw it? Yeah. This was one where we saw a airspeed sensor running off the I squared C bus of the M8Q CAN GPS module. In addition to being a GPS and a compass and a barometer and having a CAN bus and a UART bus. It also has an I squared C bus and the management module on board to control all of that. Know which is GPS, which is G compass, which is barometer, which is the airspeed indicator that can be plugged into that M8 QCAN compass module. <laughs> And it doesn't matter, technically, if you're using the CAN bus out of that module or if you're using the UART bus out of that module. Basically, the easiest for me thing for me to do right here is hook my airspeed sensor to my M8 QCAN compass module. And if we look again... at that compass module I think we have uh, looked at some other here's uh, I squared C 
bus for the airspeed sensors to the I squared C port of the M8 Q can airspeed type 8 airspeed use one I guess that's for our do uh, the yeah, mission planner down here is directly talking about mission planner I think this is still from mission planner to myself uh, let's see airspeed type airspeed use one we'll look at that in INAV if we can find that MSP perimeters our new pilot INAV again there's really nothing for this oh this is talking about the GPS module not the airspeed sensor got my wires crossed a little bit there I was really looking for this again we see the CAN bus to I squared C bus to airspeed sensor this again is for the uh, so Basically, if we look down at the build now, and we look back at the table here, we look back at the GPS I showed you in my last video, and I told you this wire didn't exist. This is that I squared C bus out of the GPS's left port. That, all we have to do is plug into the airspeed sensor board. Click. We're done. That's it. <laughs> now, technically, if we go up to iNav on the screen connect our USB port into oops into the flight controller we also see that we now have a power LED on the airspeed sensor we have power on the GPS. We have power on the RC receiver over here. And again, we don't have a battery hooked into the flight controller yet. We're running off of USB power. So now we come into iNav. We connect with the board. go to configuration come down here to p dot tube and we can say MSP here or we can go auto let's just go auto for kicks and goods right now save and reboot on the right We come back up, and if we look up at the top now, we have a blue airspeed sensor indicator up here. Now, that did go to analog to digital converter on the speed, so maybe we should set that to MSP and see what happens. Save and reboot. That seems to have stayed. I would suggest that it would work either way with this because that's just your standard digital airspeed sensor that's been used for ages. Again, we have blue up here, but this will show us if we go down now to sensors. And the only one we've got 
showing here is this airspeed sensor. We can see we have activity. Now I'm going to blow towards the end of the PDOT tube. I'm not going to blow into it. I don't want to blow anything up. But blowing towards it, first thing you're going to see is this ripple that's going on right now. It's just going to calm down. Looks like it's going crazy, doesn't it? It's because the signal is so small. When it actually gets a signal, that's going to become a straight line. And then as I blow on it, it's going to go up each time I blow on it. There you go. See, the ripple became a line. When I blow towards the end of the tube, we have signal. We are finished. That's as complex as an airspeed sensor really needs to get. Now we can briefly touch on the fact that in the 765 wing, which is more what we were talking about here than airspeed sensors at this point, <laughs> that a analog airspeed sensor can be hooked to the 765 wing on these pads right here. And actually a digital airspeed sensor. This airspeed sensor that I've got could have as easily let me look again and make sure what I'm saying is 1000% true because this stuff gets a little crazy. Yep. DA and CL I squared C there's a DA and a CL right here if I didn't have a port on the GPS to hook this sensor to I could have hooked this sensor to this DA and CL right here on the flight controller the layout here might show it better I could have hooked the airspeed sensor to DA and CL right here. I can also hook it to this DA and CL right here. Because the compass uses I squared C also, it just was easy to do the compass down through here. And then because my GPS module does I squared C out of it as a continuation of this bus, I just put my airspeed sensor on that. But you could put it here. You could also pick up five volts and ground right here and DA and CL for uh, your airspeed sensor. You also have a secondary I squared C bus right here, the DA2 and CL2. Again, you could pick up your voltage here or technically there is a ground right here, 3V3 voltage. Uh, here's 3V3, 3.3 volts DC at 200 milliamps. I guess you could pick up the voltage there, but anyway, what I did in my build is I went in through the GPS in my build. Uh, they don't show an example. There we go. Uh, they don't really show an example of it here. They show just connecting straight to the board here because they're using the A. M8Q5883, one of those other GPSs I have that only has a UART out. Yep, that's about it. So, I don't know what else to say about this INAB airspeed sensor. There it is, working on the 765 wing